Hey y'all. Um, I just wanted to just talk. Yeah, I'm just I'm just in a whole mood again and I'm trying to like switch my mood up. Yeah, it's just stuff that we just deal with in life and yeah, I'm just in a mood. Like let me brush my little beanie beans up. Yesterday I had an issue at my job and I'm I'm talking about with one of my clients. Yeah, I had this client for a year now and she always gave me attitude, but I always knew how to like work my way around it. But yesterday was kind of like the 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 um the breaking point. Um it, okay, I'm so let me let me go back. So I have been cursed out um, with this lady, been disrespected or whatever, but we still always manage to um, get get around that. So yesterday, I come in my normal time, like I always do. Yeah, I always show up to work because I got bills. Who don't? So I show up to work and um, I asked her, did she need me to run an errand for her which i usually go to the grocery store for her like every week she only gets um one errand a week i asked her did she want me to um go to the grocery store for her she told me yeah first she was trying to send me to walgreens and i was like okay but then she wanted to just send me to the grocery store so i ended up going to the grocery store for her mind you um before i went to the grocery store she said she needed some change to wash her clothes now i had been washing two prior like two days prior before um yesterday so i was like okay that's fine she gave me 60 dollars to go to the store with and i asked i called her, i said do you think you're gonna have any change you know what i'm saying left over she's like oh yeah i may have some change left over i said okay so i get get up to the cash register yeah and her stuff rung up to 69 dollars and nine dollars is nothing um i could have gave her nine dollars it's it's no biggie about giving somebody nine dollars but the thing is that we have rules and they also have rules too so um i try not to break the rules because i learned when you break the rules for somebody they start taking advantage of you so um i put i put the the bleach back i put the bleach back and it was something else that she couldn't get so I called her and I say, um, I let her know. I said, hey, you couldn't get your bleach and your sodas. And she was like, okay. So I get back to her house and I get ready to uh, wipe the counters down because by the time now she's ready to eat. And so I was like, okay, let me wipe stuff down. And I said, when I'm done wiping your counters down, I'm going to go ahead and wash. I said, oh, you don't have any change. She said, what do you mean I don't have a job? I said, your stuff rung up to over $60. Y'all, why this lady look at me and tell me that I did that on purpose? I spent all her money on purpose, okay? So well, she wouldn't have no change for me to wash. Mind you, I've been washing for two days. The lady don't have that much, that many clothes to wash or anything like that. She's just so cheap that she'll put $5 on her cord you know what I'm saying? Just because she thinks somebody's stealing from her. And I get it. Because some people, maybe somebody stole something from her a long time ago. I'm not I'm not sure. But I'm not the one. So, and I, mind you, I had this lady for a year. Never once have she said I stole anything. So, uh, but you know, people do be in their little ways or whatever. So, um, she had got, she had got to the point. Well, she, then she said, um, I did, like she said, I did it on purpose. And then she had said, um, you're going to have to go back out to the store and go give me some change. And that's when she knows she messed up. Because they don't pay us gas money. I'm I'm from the STL. They don't give us gas money to go back and forward um, for these clients. I told her, I can't go back out um, because I already went out for you. So you're going to have to have someone in your family come over and get you some change. Oh, you, you go go out and give me some change. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, Cassandra not going out to get nobody no change. So 
that right there. So she was like, you know what? I'll tell you what. Remind you, y'all, this lady is 80 years old. She grabbed my arm. And what's that saying? What they just say? Um, and that's when she messed up. So she grabbed my arm. And I said, don't put your hands on me. That was my response. So she let my arm go. And she, she like, wobbled towards her door and was cursing and telling me to get the H out, get the H out, get the H out. So I called her sister. I always have to call her sister. And I let her sister know what was going on. And her sister's like, what? What? This is her baby sister that's supposed to be over. So her baby sister's like, you know what, Cassandra? You don't have to take that. You go ahead and leave. Go ahead and go ahead and leave. And I said, okay. I said, you don't have to tell me twice. So I left. And I left because it was the right thing to do. I left. And after I left, um, I wasn't as upset or anything because I know I have been good to her. You know what I'm saying? You only feel bad when you do somebody wrong. So I know I had been good to her or whatever. So I didn't feel bad. I just, I take this as another um, lesson. Um, I take this as another um, trial. I'm not upset or anything. Yes, I still have bills and I have to pay my car note and I have to take care of my kids. And I just feel like God has another um, another plan for me. You know, that right there, that situation her um grabbing my arm that's that right there this it's not okay you know because you heard too many times um elderly you know elderly abuse but what about when the elderly abuse us you know it's no number that i can call on her so i just took that right there as a, a life a life lesson i didn't want to get in trouble myself i didn't want her to allow me i mean i didn't want her to lie on me saying that I abused her. So I left. I left and her sister called me. Hold on, yeah. <clears throat> so her sister ended up calling me and asking me um, if she, if her sister apologized, would I go back? And I told her, no, ma'am. I said, I will not stand for someone grabbing me by my arm, putting her hands on me. I told her right there, if she would never have done that, I, I may have went back, but I told her, that type of behavior that I will not tolerate. I'm sorry, but I will not tolerate. You know, I'm I'm in my feelings a little bit, but I'm really not. Um, I feel relieved. I feel relieved because I was behind on a lot of things. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, as far as my household. And um, I found myself always like rushing, rushing, not getting things done. Um, kind of like for the last couple of months, I've been kind of like stressing a little bit as far as um, the things I need to do, the things I need to get done. And right now, yeah, I'm like, I'm not even um, stressed. I'm like, it's like a, a I don't want to say burden, but it was just like a burden is lifted off of me. I know God has sent me somebody else that uh, appreciate me more. Like I said, I have been double back, backwards for this lady. And for her to, you know, treat me like that. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let God deal with her. Yes. And I know that she's 80 and she's, she's supposed to know better, but, um, some people just, I don't know. Yeah. Some people don't never grow up or whatever. And we all make mistakes. You know, I forgive her. I really do, uh, forgive her because I can't be mad at somebody that's 80 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be mad. So, I mean, I never had a client that put their hands on me, you know, and that right there, they kind of like shocked me, you know, um, I had to like, I had to leave. I had to leave. And I thank God that I'm not a, a abusive person, you know, cause somebody probably would have took that a whole nother way. But I just thank God that I don't have that, that kind of heart or anything like that. So yeah, so that's it. That was my story time for now. Yeah, pray for your girl. You know, I know um, God has other plans for me and that's just what it is. All right, y'all, y'all be blessed.